What's up guys, Takedown here with another video. Today I am sharing my 2017 um, journey through PlayStation. They sent me an email, I think I received it yesterday. This might be the first year they're doing it, um, but basically they just share everything about my account for 2017. So I thought why not make a video for that, it might be interesting for you guys, interesting for me. A little bit shocking, but of course I've been on uh, gaming pretty much 365 last year, so... Let's just get right into it. So basically it just starts off by saying I've been with uh, PlayStation for six years, which is accurate because I've been with them since the PlayStation 3. Um, so here's my journey through 2017. Uh, it started January 1st, 2017, of course. I gained 365 last year. And the first game I played was Battlefield 1. And the first trophy I earned was through Mud and Blood. Now, Battlefield 1, I've talked about that before. In my opinion, it is one of the best war games I've ever played. I've played war games from uh, SOCOM, the original Battlefields on the PlayStation 2, everything on the PlayStation 3, and even on the PlayStation 4, and it's still by far my favorite war game. Through Mud and Blood, is uh, that trophy is the campaign. It, I think it's one of the first trophies you're in campaign mode as you play it. Great game. Um, over the months... I have played a total, this is the shocking part, I was online, or on my account, playing for a total of 1,748 hours in 2017. Wow, that, that's more than I thought, that's a big number. Um, and that's over 44 different games I played in 2017. And the most progress I had was August with 195 hours of gameplay. That is quite a bit. And then it kind of rubs it in my face that that's a huge number because it says the average PlayStation gamer played for 218 total hours for the year. I played 1,700 hours. Now, that number, I wonder if that is if I leave my system on uh, standby overnight and then get back to it in the morning because I've done that a few times especially when I'm uploading a few videos and that so I don't know if that's counting those hours there but if it is that makes more sense but if not I, uh, I've been gaming quite a bit so that still makes sense to me um, keep going down here my top three games of the year or sorry the top three games I played most of in 2017 number three Fallout 4 114 hours that makes sense with the series I'm doing I'm up to episode uh, 80 I believe and I have up to episode 84 85 recorded proud about that number two is WWE 2k 17 477 hours still quite a bit but I've been playing a lot of universe a lot of late nights with uh, Jack and Mike and then of course my number one which makes sense, and I'm kind of, I'm really slowing down on it lately, so 20, 2018 is not going to see anywhere near this number. Number one is GTA 5, 733 total hours. We've done a lot of late night uh, with me, Jack, and Mike, where we've been on GTA. Most of the time we are on GTA just because of the wide um, variety of stuff you can do, different events they have, earning money, so that's what we do. And then it says the uh, most played games for PlayStation gamers of 2017. Number three is Black Ops 3. 519 million hours played. And if you think about it, Black Ops 3 came out of two years. Was it 2015? I think it came out 2015. So that tells you how many gamers prefer the older games, not necessarily the newer style they're going at. And then it's NBA 2K17 in second place with... 767 million hours and then GTA 5 with 1.13 billion hours so a lot of people love their GTA which 100% makes sense um, my genre of 2017 is action adventure games which makes sense with Fallout 4, Need for Speed, South Park um, those are more of an open world game so of course that makes sense for the adventure part GTA's open world too for the most part. Um, that's what I prefer. I also like war games and all that too. But that is my genre of the year. 
the trophies I earned in 2017, a total of 136, which sounds like it's on the low end. I have one platinum trophy. Um, where is it here? That platinum trophy Me earning 136 trophies puts me on the top 10% of all PlayStation trophy earners. That is a huge accomplishment for me. I guess not too many people have had the total. I think I'm at 1,100 trophies in total or more now. Um, but that 136 from 2017 put me into the top 10%. So I am proud about that. 33 trophies for December, that makes sense because I was really going with WWE trophies. I really gunned for them, so I would say about 20 trophies went to WWE 2K18 in December. First and only platinum trophy of the year was Need for Speed 2015. I finally platinumed it, and then it has a little fact on that. Uh, it says, did you know only 4% of PlayStation gamers have earned the honor of a platinum trophy? Which is funny because Need for Speed was my fourth Platinum Trophy and right now I'm working on my fifth which it's really uh, reasonable to get. So I'd like to know the percentage on how many people get five Platinum Trophies now that only 4% of all gamers on PlayStation have earned one. I wonder how many have earned uh, more than one. So that would be cool to know. Compared to 2016, 2017 was 136 trophies. 2016 was 250 trophies, but I have been really busy and not trophy hunting uh, in 2017. Maybe as I go forward in 2016, 2018, we'll screw that up. As I go forward in 2018, hopefully I'll start getting into more trophies. Because now that I have my new games, hopefully I'll start the ball rolling there. Um, 2017 also, it says a little bit about PlayStation Plus. So I got 18 free games for PlayStation Plus and saved 34 well $35 from discounts. Most of that is games I've been trying to do series on, attempting to. I mean, they're free, so why not try like a, a mini series or a small series if it gets the views? A lot of them have failed, a lot of them I just didn't like. Um, but they share that with me. Uh, the most game I played online was GTA 5. Well, of course, pretty much all the hours that I played GTA 5 that I just mentioned a few minutes ago, all of that is online. So of course that makes 100% um, sense, it's accurate. Shares a little bit about the most anticipated games for 2018. Days Gone is one of them that it mentions. That's might be the only game I get. I have to find out if it's online, then I will get it. Uh, there is another Zombies game coming out in 2018, the end of 2018. That looks amazing. So that one's probably the one I get. Days Gone is a possibility, but I don't know. It's a little bit sketchy, but I might I might get that. And then all that's left is it says about subscribing to PlayStation Now and get hundreds of games and PlayStation View. So that is basically takedowns, uh, rewind into uh, PlayStation Gaming and for his 2017 I thought that's a pretty unique uh, video that I can make, quick video. They basically had all the facts. All I had to do was relay them to you guys. So I hope you guys like this. Let me know what you guys did for 2017 uh, gaming-wise with your PlayStation account, or maybe Xbox does this too. Um, did everybody receive an email? I'm not sure. This might. I think this is the first year I got one, so unless they just pick and choose who gets an email when. But... I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys are doing well. Comment down below what you did for 2017 gaming wise. What trophies you got. What games you liked playing. Or what games you played the most. And as always I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.